In today's video, we are going to talk about rabbit's eyes common infections. The rabbit's eyes are positioned on two sides of their head, making them able to see what is all around them. The eyes of the rabbit are also a farsighted vision so they can easily see the approaching predators that they can possibly encounter in the wild. However, the rabbits can also have a blind spot, such as straight in front of them and in the area under their chin. Your pet rabbit's sense of sight is considered to be distinctive compared to any other pet. Like for example, the rabbits are partly color blind, and also, if they are under a bright surrounding, their eyesight can be remarkably denigrated. Tear ducts in rabbits are considered the biggest problem of the eyes of the rabbits. By the time, this can lead to being inflamed and watery, accompanied by a sticky discharge that collects round eyes and rounded fur. A tear duct issue in rabbits is almost connected to their poor dental health. Yes, it links into dental health in rabbits, and this is because the tear ducts of the rabbit are run from one place of the eye to the other that just places below their eyes and above the top of their teeth. So if the teeth of the rabbit grow too long than their usual size, it creates pressure on the small ducts, and it becomes obstructed and can lead to being infected. Your vet may treat it by taking out the ducts with the use of the saline solution to eliminate the pus and other types of infection. The common cause of the rabbit eye infection is a bacteria that includes the Treponema cuniculi or mostly known as rabbit syphilis. This may cause the eyelids of the rabbit to become swollen. There is also a rabbit eye infection called conjunctivitis. It is a common disorder that makes the eye become red. Such a result comes from an allergy, viral irritants, bacteria, and sometimes it shows as the side effect of the rabbit's respiratory tract infection. Conjunctivitis. It's commonly called the pink eye. It is a common infection in rabbits that are isolated in different causes such as Staphylococcus SPP, Mycoplasma SPP, and the Pastorella multicida. Abscess. Rabbits are known to be a great producer of a sticky and thick cream cheese-like surface discharge within the thick wall abscess. Usually, there is a feeling of pain and swelling of the eyeball of the rabbit. Any chronic infection that is located around or inside will affect the eye of the rabbit. Cataract. Rabbits that have cataracts occur because of a few things, which include the rabbit's diet, trauma, genetics, and sometimes from infection. The most common instrument is the parasite. A cataract is a result of uveus or any other pain. It is highly recommended to do surgery to remove the cataract of the rabbit. Glaucoma. This eye problem condition in rabbits is inherited as a somatic demure. It commonly happens to New Zealand rabbit that has the age between 3 to 6 months. Doing the treatment of glaucoma is described as a very frustrating one. The early signs of this include blindness and generalized corneal edema. Myxomatosis. This is a disease that rabbits experience due to the virus called myxoma. The infected rabbit that has myxomatosis may instantly feel very ill, followed by conjunctivitis, loss of appetite, pyrexia, and even lethargy. The mucous layer of different areas of the rabbits, such as its eyes, mouth, nose, and genital areas, becomes inflamed and swollen. The rabbit that has this type of infection may die within 14 days if not treated. Pophalmus. This is when both eyes of the rabbit seem to swell out from the globe. Sometimes it is accompanied by the blood that gathered in the venous sinus or behind the rabbit's eye. This may have resulted from stress, fear, and glaucoma in rabbits. Dacryocystitis. It is known as an infection that inflames the nasolacrimal duct of the rabbit. This is accompanied by any dental problems as the tooth of the rabbit is commonly very close to each other. So the infection and inflammation itself may base on the effect on the drainage of the duct itself. Eyes of the rabbits reflect its general health. Definitely yes, if the eyes of your pet rabbit look very bright and healthy, such as open eyes that associate with a very smooth eyelid, fair size of both pupils, and there is no sticky discharge occurs then it explains that your pet's eyes and teeth are in both good condition. The teeth of the rabbit can maintain up to their right length by just maintaining them to have a supply of a good high fiber diet that consists of hay, grass, and different raw vegetables. The rabbit that is healthy teeth is the most decisive to connect to a usual good health rabbit. It is known that the rabbit's teeth can be grown continuously throughout their life, so you must have a persistent source of fiber for them to chew while grinding down their teeth at the same time. Chewing of food is great to help to stop their teeth from overgrowing and can possibly cause a blockage into tear ducts. The essential thing that you can do as a pet owner is to maintain your rabbit's eye health while avoiding dental disease. By feeding the rabbit, a diet that has the right amount of long fiber such as hay and grass. You may monitor your pet rabbit's eye daily to check for any changes that may possibly occur. Providing a spacious living as a shelter that has open access that can allow the rabbit to run will also ensure that your pet can stay happy and fit. 
Cleaning your pet regularly to lessen the bacteria and ammonia levels that can possibly occur as these can be built up from wet, soggy paper, straw, and sawdust that can irritate the eyes as well as the rabbit's respiratory tract. Give your pet a companion as they help each other's eyes to stay in good condition by grooming and cleaning their fur with their companion's eyes to take away any minor discharge. This may also help to avoid the skin coming around the eyes from getting sore. Always make sure that your pet attends to its vaccinations up to the right date. Myxomatosis is known to be a viral disease that can be prematurely mistaken to be an eye condition problem at first and become a runny eye in a rabbit. Eye infections in a rabbit often indicate an underlying problem such as dental disease, which can become expensive to treat and require ongoing treatment. Consider ensuring your rabbit as soon as you get them before any signs of illness started. This will ensure you have all the support you need to care for them if they become unwell. It's also very important to speak openly to your vet about your finances, the cost of treatment, as well as what you think is right for your rabbit. There are often several treatment options so if one doesn't work for you and your pet then the vet may be able to offer another. Like humans, rabbits also experience glaucoma, inflammation of the eyes, and other vision problems. A sharp strand of the straw or even a foreign body in the rabbit's eye can affect to become a redness in color and sticky rabbit eye. You may bathe the sore and sticky eye area using cooled boiled water and cotton wool. But when you observe milky film in your rabbit's eye, it is very usual in young kits caused by a parasite that infects the rabbit at birth that commonly followed by any other signs and symptoms. If you feel worried regarding your rabbit's eye health, then always seek advice from your veterinarian so that they provide a piece of expert advice about the health of your pet rabbit. The vet will prescribe an antibiotic or drops it into your pet if they found any health issues. Contact your vet if your rabbit has symptoms of an eye infection, and let them know if they have had similar symptoms in the past. You know your rabbit best, if you are concerned it's always best to contact your vet. Make sure you give your rabbit all their medication, isolate them from any healthy rabbits until your vet says otherwise, and let your vet know if their symptoms don't improve. Check your rabbit's eyes regularly for redness or discharge. Keep your rabbit's teeth healthy by feeding them a good quality, high fiber diet. Use good quality, dust-free bedding and clean their living space regularly. Always have your rabbit examined and treated by a vet if they have a problem with their eye. Conjunctivitis in rabbits is very often caused by an underlying problem, which left without treatment, is likely to get worse. Home remedies for eye infections are likely to be unhelpful and delay effective treatment, putting your rabbit's sight at risk. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.